If you don't have a lead generation strategy that is bringing in web design and SEO leads into your business, today I want to share with you four different ways that you can find leads using one specific tool and how you're able to easily get the contact information for those leads, how to know specifically what to offer to those clients based on what their needs are. And I'll even share with you a few hacks to help you get higher paying clients. So if you don't have a lead generation strategy that is working for you, or you don't have one that you're able to consistently stick to, this just may be a strategy for you. So today we're going to be using a tool that I love and I have talked about several times here on the channel as well called My Web Audit. So I'm going to jump right into this and I'm going to show you specifically how you can use this to find different leads, how you're able to offer your specific service or a variety of services based on their needs and be able to actually get the contact info you need to get a hold of them. So if that sounds good, let's jump right to it. Over here in our My Web Audit dashboard this is where we're going to be able to find leads now what we're going to do is come over to this section called better leads and here we're going to be able to find leads and we can choose between finding local leads by searching directly within my web audit itself we can find leads that are running ads and why i really like this option is because the businesses who are running ads well they're already spending money they believe in spending money on marketing in order to get a result so those can be great businesses to target and we can also find leads by technology so if you want to narrow down to a specific technology that you use that you're good at then that is another way that you can do that if you want to drill down to your specific service now there is also a way to be able to import leads so let's say that you've gone out and you've been finding leads by searching online or you've been having an assistant do that for you then you'll be able to take those leads and import them using a csv file here and then you'll be able to run it through the audit system System here to find out which services those leads specifically need. Now, another way we can do this is by hopping over to Google and actually searching directly in Google for the types of businesses that you want to serve. And I'll show you how to do that in just a moment. So what we want to start with here is find local leads. Now this works really well if you are looking for certain types of businesses, certain industries in specific locations. So let's say here that we wanted to look for pest control services and let's do that out in phoenix arizona here and now what we can do is we can select a list that we want to add these to so if we have no list then we could just call this pest control in phoenix and we'll create that new list otherwise if you are finding leads using some of the different methods back on that better leads dashboard there you'll be able to add them all into the same list so you can process them together and figure out where you would like to start contacting those leads so we'll add that to the list here and we'll click on find leads now as you can see our request is being processed so now this is actually going out and extracting leads for you and is going to compile that list and we'll be able to go here in a minute while that is running let's go take a look back over here at generate leads and let's look at the leads running ads so now we can do the same thing here so let's say we wanted to look for kitchen remodeling companies and let's say let's do this in Scottsdale Arizona and we're going to create a new list here because this is for kitchen remodeling We'll add that list and click on find leads here and as you can see that search is starting so we're going to come back over here and we're going to look by technology so i can show you here this is obviously going to work in the same way with the keyword and the location here but you'll also be able to select the technology so let's say you only want to work with wordpress sites or let's say you prefer e-commerce sites so you want to use woocommerce or shopify here you can select those you'll be able to add your list and find new leads so that is another way so while those two are running let me show you one other thing we can do let's say we want to pop over here to google and let's do a search for pest control in phoenix now here we see that we have several local listings here we have more listings down below so here we can either pull the listings the results that are on this page or we can even click into the local listings if we want to start here and then what we'll do is we will come up here to the my web audit browser extension and then we'll want to click on link extractor 
and we can select a list. So here we will select the pest control Phoenix list. If we needed to create a new list, we can do so by just inserting it right into this box here and clicking on the check mark. But we'll add it here. And then all we need to do is click import sites to lead list. So here we can see it says three websites are added to the pest control Phoenix list, but there were 16 sites that were skipped just to avoid any duplicate listing. So this is really nice because you don't have to go back and clean up your list. It's already going to be cleaned up there for you. So now all we need to do is head back over to our My Web Audit dashboard and let these leads process and we'll be able to access them directly there. So here under our lead list, this is going to show us how many of the leads have been processed. So since we just started to run this, no leads have actually been processed just yet, but we can see that there are 79 pending. So if we click in here, this is going to show us the list of leads that are being pulled. So we have all of the companies right here and we can scroll down, we see all of these are being processed. But why it's taking a few minutes here is that it is actually going to tell us what services they need and which they don't. So if we scroll across the top here, we can see it's processing, are these sites actually responsive? These, are they using an SSL certificate here? What is their Google page speed, their OG tags, schema tags and markup, Google analytics, using a Facebook pixel. So this is actually going in and doing a mini audit of these sites. So we know specifically what their needs are. So once those are done processing, we're going to be able to see all of the data for each of these sites, sort through which ones we want to start with, and then we'll be able to find the contact information, which I'll show you as soon as this is done running. All right, here we are now with our lead list. This has finished processing. So we have all of the leads or potential leads down here. So now we can start filtering through and seeing which ones we want to be able to contact. So here when we see the green check marks, these have received a passing score for these particular factors. So we have responsive site, the SSL certificate, Google page speed, but we see we have a red X here. So they have no OG tags, but this one is doing fairly well because they only have one red X here. So we can scroll down here a little bit and let's see this one right here. There is an error here. So we may just rerun this so we can see if we can get a code here for this but mostly they are not passing here. They are not passing the page speed scores. They don't have OG tags, schema tags, no Google analytics even, or a Facebook pixel. So we see here that they are trying to get potential clients in here with a $49 offer. So they are trying to do something here. So what we could do is if we wanted to reach out to them, then we see here, we can go ahead and preview the site. We can take a look at how does the site actually look. We can rescan the site, but that's good. We can come back and we can do that if we've actually updated the site here. But here is where we can find the contact details here. And we can also mark this as a lead. So if we wanted to go through this list and just say, yes, I wanna mark these three as a lead. So that way I can start reaching out to them. We can do that. So you can do that here individually. What you can also do is say, I wanna mark this one this one and this one as leads. And if you go up to the top, you're going to be able to click as mark as lead. So that will identify those as leads for you, or you'll be able to click on find the contact information. So for now, let's say we want to mark these as leads. So those are now listed as our leads. And as we can see here up top, it now has that as a lead list for us. So let's pop over here. And these are the three now that we want. So here we do not have the contact information for those. So let's say we want to get it for this one here. So we're going to click on this here. Data enrichment for this lead requires two credits. We do want to confirm to go ahead and get that contact information. And now it is going to go out and retrieve that for us. Okay, so I have requested the contact information of the first two companies here. Now we can see that there is a new column here with a dollar sign icon. And this is giving us the estimated monthly AdWords budget. So we can see the first company has a budget of $393 and the second one has a budget of $662 here. So let's say I want to go ahead and reach out to this company right here. I'm going to click on this icon to view their contact info. And now we can see we have a whole screen full of information about this company. On the left hand side, we have all of the company contacts here. So now we can grab any of the contacts that we want. Usually if we have just one or two, it helps me narrow down who it is. If we have a whole list of different email addresses here, then we want to narrow this 
down to who the owner may be or the marketing team member, someone who is going to be in charge of the marketing, of course. So a good way to do that is to be able to go out to the website to see if they have their team members listed with their title there, or even taking the contact information and going out to LinkedIn and doing a search so we can find out their title there works as well. But here we have the information here about their estimated annual return, what their monthly ad budget is or ad position, a lot of their paid ad details here. And then on the right hand side, we have a list of basically all the website technology that they are using. So that way, when you go in and you start talking to a company, you already have some information here. So we can see Google Analytics and Google Tag Manager. They're using HubSpot, for instance. So this gives us more information here. So now we can see this button here that says sync. This is if you want to send this lead over to your web audit dashboard here. And what we want to be able to do is go ahead and contact these businesses. And we can actually do that directly inside my web audit. And they even give us the email templates that we can use. We can always customize them to our liking. So now we have synced that to our audit dashboard so we can come back over here. So now we can come over here to the lead section, and this is where we're gonna be able to keep track of all of the companies that we have identified as a potential lead for us. And what we can do here is we can click on this check mark, and if you have team members, you can go ahead and assign this particular audit to a particular team member, and then that way they can run the audit, they can go ahead and reach out if that's something you want them to be able to do. Otherwise, what you're gonna do here is you're gonna go ahead and run an audit. Now I'm not gonna go through that here today because I've covered that in another video so if that's something you're interested in seeing how to do even if you've never done it before I will link to that down in the description below but otherwise that is what you want to do and that other video also shows you how once you run the audit you can go ahead and email the company directly from within your dashboard here even using the my web audit email templates that they give you for outreach now if you are looking for some of the higher paying clients then it's a good idea to go into google and search for the fastest growing insert industry companies so the fastest growing plumbing companies or the fastest growing landscaping companies and there you're going to find some search results Results that have websites with a whole list of all of these companies who are growing quickly they have high revenue but don't be turned off by those companies because even those companies are still looking to grow and they want to be able to expand their business and then that's where you can step in and be able to help them with that now some of the other searches that you can try are best landscaping companies in Houston or top pool builders in Phoenix and those will also bring up additional search results so get a little bit creative with the searches that you're doing and that will help you expand those lead lists even further so I hope you found this way of finding all of these leads really helpful if you did please give the video a thumbs up and if you know of anyone else who would find this type of information helpful please do consider sharing it as well of course if you have any questions at all don't hesitate to leave those down in the comments below otherwise Thank you so much for watching. I'll catch you next time.